Good morning, it's Thursday the 25th of February and we are going to stay focused on our poetry writing except this time we're going to do a completely different type of poem. It will be a poem that you've come across before. It will be an acrostic poem. Hard to say, hard to spell, but really simple to do. Acrostic poem. So I will remind you of what that is in a moment and then I will show you an example that I have done for an acrostic poem and then I will tell you what you need to do today for your task, okay? First of all, um, we are going to look, oopsie, moved on way too far. Here we go, back to our starter. This is important because your starter today is going back to the Oak Academy and looking at one of their grammar lessons. This grammar lesson fits in perfectly with your new spelling objective this week. So on a Thursday, you always get your new spelling sheet. Your spelling sheet this week is looking at words with double consonants in them. There are all sorts of rules around that. So this is a great way for you to learn a little bit more as well as practice the spellings on the sheet that I've saved to the website today. So this week your spelling, your new spelling rule is looking at words with double consonants and this is going to really help you with that. So it's lesson one and it's in the English spelling um, folder on the website, so on the Oak Academy website. I have a link on the teaching slides if you need it or of course on the weekly planner as well. Okay, so do that please because that will really help you with your spelling lesson, your spelling um, sheet this week. When you've done that, let's get back to the poem. So, I've saved for you a PowerPoint, that's what the PPT stands for, PowerPoint. So there's a separate PowerPoint all about acrostic poems and that's going to tell you what they are. But Basically, an acrostic poem is really simple because the first letter of each line of the poem spells out the poem's theme or the poem's title or the idea. So let's take a look at this. If we look at this here, we've got the word acrostic going down. A-C-R-O-S-T-I-C. Now, if I was going to write an acrostic poem about acrostic, I would have to come up with a line in my poem and um, that line, first of all, needs to begin with the letter A or C or R or O. It doesn't matter which order I complete my lines in, as long as I can think of a line that makes sense and follows the same sort of length and rhythm as the other lines. But the most important thing is that my sentence begins with the letter that's in the right place to spell out the title of my poem or the theme of my poem. So that will make much, much more sense to you when you look at the PowerPoint and you look at all of those lovely um, poems and ideas to do with fireworks. Okay, so notice that we're not concerned with rhyming words for this type of poem. This is a completely different type of poem to the one that we have been looking at all week. We were definitely looking for rhyming words on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Today I'm not interested in rhyming words. I'm actually interested in whether you can spell out a word or a title clearly down the edge of your page. So I would suggest writing the word that I give you in a moment down the side. So one word on each line. That's how you start and then you will just fill in the lines with a sentence. So A might stand, you might just come up with something that says, actually, this really is quite easy. And then for a sentence beginning with C, I don't know, let's think of a word beginning with C. Um, challenging, but absolutely not impossible. And then R could be something like, oh, I don't know, um, really, really, really fun to do. You could come up with your own. You could have some fun doing this for sure. And so have a go at doing it. You might even find you start to fill, fill some of these lines in and then go back and change them because you might set yourself the challenge of making sure that they're all the same length or all the same um, syllable count in the lines, something like that. 
Okay, so you can join in with some of the activities on the PowerPoint to do with coming up with fireworks. When you've done this acrostic PowerPoint, this is your challenge. You are going to write your own poem following our topic name, Get, Set, Go. Three little words, Get, Set, Go. I've done it, so you can do it. And whilst I was doing it, I also tried really hard to be a bit clever. And I hope I have been, because I tried to get the word of the week in. Remember, it's pa panorama. I've got it in there. So I've got my word of the week in there. And then I've also tried to think about starting my sentences using um, some of the ways that we would in class. So using an ing word, which is one of our ice-based ideas. Um, you will know about this. I've used connectives to start some of my sentence. So I've tried to do it in different ways, which I think you can do as well. So let me share it with you, my creation. So first of all, in blue, you can see in capital letters in blue, I've got my theme. Oh, where's my O? I hope I didn't miss it all. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to struggle to fit it all on the screen. Let me make my screen look a little bit smaller and then you can see it. Okay, hopefully you can see get, set, go. G, I've put gathering speed. I picked up my pace. Enjoying the beautiful panorama of the beach. Taking each step swiftly, but determinedly. So focused on my task to reach my goal. Even though the wind is pushing me back, there is nothing that will stop me from getting there. Giving my full attention to the vast, empty sands, only stopping once I catch up with my dog. So as you can see, I'm rather pleased with it because I've kept it around our theme of exercise, even if the exercise here is all about me chasing after my dogs who can run very, very fast and very, very far. Um, it was something that I quite enjoyed writing about. So I sort of created the situation but I kept it about exercise and running and um, about our theme of Get Set Go. So have a go yourself. Um, you can see how I've set it out. Hopefully it'll be nice and straightforward. You don't have to include the word of the week in this. It was quite tricky to get it in. A beautiful panorama, of course, panorama meaning um, a wide view all around. Um, and you don't have to fill your poem with adverbs or um, conjunctions or starting with verbs. It, it's up to you. It'd be lovely if you can, fronted adverbials like this. Have a go, play around with it, do the best you can, and when you've got it, send it in. Mr Cottle and I would love to see what Alda and Lila class have done with this. Enjoy it, it should be some fun. And hopefully it all makes sense to you. Um, have some fun with it. And I will be back tomorrow. Good luck. See you. Bye.